and welcome to my new tutorial modeling a car in Blender 2.55 beta now for those of you who have seen my other tutorials I have another tutorial using Blender 2.49 and it was modeling a De Tomaso Pantera and I'm, actually I'm still working on that tutorial but from here on out even in that tutorial I'm going to be working in Blender 2.55 beta now there are a lot of big differences between this version and previous versions the main thing being the interface um, it looks way more professional. It uh, we've got a little color here. Things are organized. There's not any overlap or ambiguity. Uh, there are some bugs I think that still need to be worked out. Mainly, I'm going to be switching a lot between the views here uh, because I've tried to change the shortcuts, and every time I do, it just reverts back to nothing. I think that's kind of a bug. I'm, I'm going to have to figure that out one out. But I think that you will see. I, I can tell right off, right out out of the gate, that the tweaking time has been reduced almost 70 percent. It's just the way the Blender, the new version of Blender, handles uh, geometry and things. Okay. So without further ado, let's go to our blueprints. I'm going to show you how to set those up. Setting up blueprints is so much easier in this version. So I'm going to go to paint.net. Of course, you can use GIMP or any others that you want. But we're going to navigate, let's see, to the folder where we have our blueprints. Now, I have these blueprints in two different places. So I'm going to just select this one. OK. This is a blueprint of the car that we want to create. And uh, these blueprints are nice and clean, and so we're not going to have to uh, really clean them up that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start with the front one here. I'm going to drag a selection box around this. And I'm going to copy it and go File New, Control-V to paste it in there. Now I'm going to go over here and select my magic wand and select in the white area outside and go down here and edit invert selection and then image crop to selection okay what it's doing is just cropping the selection to the edges and we'll save this file save as now I'm gonna save this in a different location because I was having a problem blender was not wanting to recognize some of or some of my locations here. I've been having a lot of problems with computers lately. I had to tear my some of my keys off. They were sticking. Okay. So, <clears throat> close. Alright, we're just going to do the same thing to the back here. Whoop. Oh, we got the magic wand on. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing at the back. Edit. Copy. File. New. Yep. Control V. Look in here. OK. And invert selection. Image. Crap to selection. Perfect. OK. Save as. And. Okay, let's see. Invert selection. Hmm. Image crop to selection. Very good. File. Save as. And this one is just going to be transam back. Huh? Oh, 
Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Transam side, sorry. Okay. Okay. Back to the selection. All right. Now, seeing as how we got a little text down here, I'm just going to go ahead and let's see, file or edit, copy, and you know, control V. Selection. I hold on. Okay. Now sometimes you have run into some problems, and when you do this, you can just make a manual selection like this, and it serves the purpose. Okay, that's good. File, save as. And to save a little time, let's see. Oh, one thing I am going to have to do here. Glad I uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise because the way this is going to go in Blender, we have to. And also, I need to get over here with this mirror so we don't have any problems. One more time. So we don't have any. Uh, problems lining these things up. <sighs> right to the edge of the mirror and every time I release I've got this mouse that I, I don't like it. Let's see. Okay, there we go. My mouse is really tough to press and I'm going to have to get a new one today. Okay. And we're saving these as PNG files, but you can save them as JPEGs too. Okay. Now let's get out of paint. Go back into Blender. Okay. <coughs> now, Blender's made it very easy to uh, bring in photos, background photos. Up here you see these little plus signs. Click these. These are uh, the properties in Toolbox or Tool Shelf and you can click these off by just going in here to view. But we want this one open. So we're going to come down here as you can see I've been playing with these already. Okay, this, when you start up Blender, usually this will be des deselected. Select this and hit Add Image. Okay, click the arrow up here and, okay, we're in our top here, well, here. Okay, so now I'm going to go into D, Documents, Blueprints, Cars, and here we go. Here's everything we need. Trans Am Top. We're going to grab this one, open it. Okay, sometimes you won't be able to see it, you know, like, What's happened? Oh no. Well, you can only view it in ortho. You can't view it in perspective, so go up here and toggle off perspective in ortho. And now, also, if you go to the side view or the back view, it's still there. The way we change this is go up here and just click top, and it will be selected only in the top view. Okay. Now, we're going to add another one. So we're going to click add image. And we're going to go in, not set, click that, uh, D, documents, blueprints, cars, and we're going to take the side. Now this will be in the left hand view. So we're going to go over here and click left. Okay. Already set up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we'll add views as we need them, but 
I'm just going to work with the top and the side for right now. So, I'm going to go back to the top view. All right, now, up ah, here. All views will need to, let's see, left. That makes it disappear. Okay, go up here, add mesh point. All right. So we have a, uh, I'm going to hit G and X, which G allows me to move, X constrains me to the X axis. Now, with this selected, I'm going to hit scale on the Y axis. And I'm going to scale this up. I could have just placed the cursor at the very first, which would have been easier. And would have saved some time. But here we are. Okay. Now, and scale on the x axis. Scale on the x axis. Okay, we are going to have to add in a new view. I forgot. Okay. As you can see, it's it's snapping here. Hit shift and it's much smoother. Okay. All right. So, we've we have this. Let's go into the left view. Okay, as you can see, we're going to have to scale this up and move it. So, we're going to come down here to our transam side and we have a, the size, so we're going to bring the size way up there. Okay, that's about right. Now, uh, one thing that I do want to do here, G, Y, whoops, G, Z, I want this above the plane. So, uh, we're going to move the Y up and it's kind of pretty close. So that's just about right. Okay, so we're all right in this dimension. So now, let's see. We are going to <coughs> rotate this 90 degrees. Oops. And we're going to scale it along the z-axis. And for some reason, it's not wanting to scale in real time. So I'm going to go, let's see, front. It's not liking that left view. There's a lot of things that I don't particularly understand. Uh, also, let's see here. I'm going to uh, bring this down along the Y to where the wheels are touching that line there. Okay, so now I can GZ, I can move that down there. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Now we're going to bring in our front view. Let's see. Let's go to the front. Okay. I'm going to add another image. Okay. So we're going to add only to the front. Let's see. And we're going to open D. Let's see. Losing my train of thought. Let's see, blueprints, cars, and there we go. Okay, this looks like it's, let's see, pretty well. All right. So, this is uh, set up already. So we just need to I'm going to go here to edit mode, 
save a little time. And by hitting the B, which is the select box, I'm going to oops, A. Hit A to deselect everything. And I'm just going to G, Z, and bring this up here. All right. Now I can delete by hitting A, it deselects and A again, it reselects it. I can come in here, hit X, erase, all. Okay, now in all our views, we are set up to go ahead and model. So we'll begin the modeling in the next tutorial. Uh, stay with me, this is going to be fun because Blender 2.55 Beta is so easy. So, oh, and also, one thing I'd like to uh, point out, when you go to YouTube and watch these videos, you can watch them in extremely high definition, depending on, of course, your internet connection. If you're in some place in the world uh, where you don't have very good internet connection, like, well, no names. <laughs> but uh, you can go on the, uh, there's a little number at the bottom of your YouTube screen. I, I'm not connected to the internet right now. I can't show you. But it's like the it usually says like 240 or 360p. That's like the pixel size. You can click on that and jack it all the way up to 720, and see it in super high definition Blu-ray and the way I see it. Okay, so that's going to be all for now. I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this because, like I said, this is I'm really excited about this. So, bye bye. See you in the next one.